What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. I just did a video, very well received in the early stages, about how YouTube is really, you know, ruining, hindering, destroying Chantel's life. And I think this video is perfect to summarize all those things in her own words. In this video, she is clearly aware, just in the thumbnail, of the fact that people are speaking about the PayPal donations that were made there, and she gets into the amount. She gets into the number of people, which I think is going to shock a lot of people. We'll get to that in a moment. And she starts off by not wanting to be in the car, you know, wanting to be outside. She goes over a bag she got as a birthday gift. She talks about how valuable it was to her from a sentimental standpoint, that it may not have been monetarily an expensive bag, but that's not what matters to her anymore. And if that's really how she feels, that's great. But if that's really how she feels, then you would think she'd prioritize her health and being here to make as many memories, get as many gifts, give as many gifts as she could. She does, again, offer she wanted to eat outside, but the rain is just going to prevent that. So she is going to be in the car. This is a very claustrophobic watch, if you will. She has a beef bowl and, of course, has to get chips to dip them in. This is literally someone from what we understand, days removed from the hospital, concerned about dehydration and eating what must be a very sodium heavy meal, even if it was accompanied by, you know, the healthy Gatorade. Now, the frantic speed and pace that she eats is astonishing. And I just want you to remember, there's no one around. There's no one else in the car. She is likely parked all alone in the pouring rain. And for some reason, she is just eating this meal as if it is at risk of getting away from her. She said that she's seen a lot of Chipotle mukbangs. They inspired her. And this is what has her eating this meal. And the fact that she's feeling so much better, she feels she could come out, I guess, and perform, if you will. The fact that she's watching people eat this way when she knows she has issues eating and that kind of serves as the catalyst for her to go do these things I find even more troubling than anything else in this video. She waits, of course, for maximum added value till the seven-minute mark of eating to say that she doesn't want to address the rumors. Chantel, if you don't want to address it, then don't. You know, there's a lot of creators in this space that have things said about them, projected on them, and if you don't want to address it, then just continue to move on. Your audience will appreciate it. It won't bother you near as much. And yet here you are, taking time out of your day, a meal that you apparently were supposed to enjoy, and you're talking about how only three people donated. And of those three people, you made a massive $37. You take time to thank them, you reiterate that you could not have been scamming them, and then you essentially say that's the end of the story. As I alluded to in the beginning, if you need clarification that this is destroying Chantal's life needlessly, then this should be a very stern reminder. Chantal basically had three people out of the 101,000, out of the 14, 19,000 that watched this video that she did when she came back to Canada, give around $12 to help her. Now, you could argue that they didn't give to her because they don't feel that she's truly in need. They didn't give to her because they don't appreciate her sincerity in asking for help. But at the same time, when you have that number of people and you're projecting you're as desperate as you are, when you get that little return, that should be a massive red flag that you are not putting a lot of time into something that's truly beneficial to you. To that point, she goes on and talks about how after being sick, you know, her appetite has returned after just a few days. And she makes a reference to the fact that when she was in the hospital, she said, listen, I don't want to eat junk anymore. I don't want to put anything bad in my body anymore. And yet here we are doing this. And understand, this was completely planned, premeditated. Understand the thought process. She was sitting at home watching people eat food, which she knows she has a problem with. She then sees enough people eating food that she wants. She elects to get in the car. She elects to drive out to the restaurant. She orders whatever she would like and then sits in the car and films it. Despite the fact that it wasn't a good day to do this, she still does it anyway. When we talk about her being in Kuwait and how beneficial it could have been, 
She had none of those options. The only thing she could have done is hope that when she watched this content, that stores were open, that the type of restaurant that serves that food was available, and that they would deliver, or Sala would go get it. Outside of that, you see now when all those restrictions are removed and she has freedom to do what she wants, she can go from the hospital bed one day to the drive through the next. And she rationalizes it and justifies it based on a platform that when asking her viewers for help, netted her less than $40. And make no mistake, she knew exactly what she was doing the entire time. She was shoveling food in her mouth so repulsively, she said, I know this is going to be someone's thumbnail. Which it is. Because Chantal knows exactly what she's doing. But she's yet to find out that the only person she's manipulating and hurting is her organs. As she completes the meal, she laments not getting hot sauce. She crumbles the rest of the bag of chips into the bowl. And honestly, other than just watching so many jump cuts of her taking bites, which to, my, to me clearly points as feeder content, and in the middle of chewing, yelling, do you guys like burrito bowls? That's it. She ends the video saying she's an entertainer. She should be paid. She doesn't require people to support her. So, Chantal, if all these things are to be believed, right, if you really do believe that you're an entertainer, that you're providing something of value to YouTube or whatever platform, Twitch, doesn't really matter. You did, and so many people have covered this, a whole rant when you had nothing else to talk about, you were searching for topics, you did a whole rant about how food service workers shouldn't be tipped, that tipping was getting out of control. And yet here you are just months later saying, hey, listen, I'm an entertainer, I'm doing my job, but my pay isn't enough, and I'm requesting that other people offset my lowered pay by just simply giving me money. Yet you really haven't performed a specific service to them the same way a server would. If you want a specific tip from a person that you are helping, then your Hameo is there just for that, Chantal. Hameo is your tipping service, you understand. Hameo, every time, is the ability for someone to go on and get a video specifically from you in exchange for cash. That's your tip. To justify that other creators ask for PayPal, Cash App, whatever the case may be, so therefore I am justified, is not the actual answer. Because my response to that is, Chantal, we've all seen Jamal lose pounds and pounds and pounds and pounds. So if he can go lose weight and be successful and have members and get donations and do all these things, then why can't you? Because it's always the rules modified in a way in which you come out benefiting. I'm going to leave you guys with the top comments from the last video. I appreciate you watching this one. I'll be back soon as I can with more commentary.